Hey everybody, welcome back to Essentially Unique DIY. Today we're gonna to be making a DIY spray deodorant. Now, everybody knows spray deodorant sometimes can leave a sticky residue. This one will not leave a sticky residue. It's a very quick dry and it's really great for your skin. So, we are using our lemon essential oils, our frankincense, lavender, witch hazel. We have a two ounce spray bottle and we have a tiny funnel so to be able to put our essential oils in there. These oils that we're using are really great for skin, really great to help um, deodorize, all of that kind of amazing, amazing things and it helps detox. So it's really great. So how we're gonna do it, we're just gonna take our sp spray nozzle, almost call it a sprout, put our funnel in we are going to do 20 drops of each essential oil. One, two, three, So one thing about making your own deodorant, especially if it's all natural, your body's going to have to have some time to adjust to it. So your body's detoxing all of those toxic chemicals that were in your previous deodorant. So you might have to spray maybe two to three times a day until your body gets used to that. And that is okay. Um, once your body does get used to it, it will regulate and you only have to spray in the morning time or mid evening whenever you decide to put your deodorant on and that's all you'll have to do. Okay. So we're doing our last 20 of our essential oils. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, and 20. Whew! I'm going to take forever today. And all the rest that we're doing is we're just filling the rest of the bottle up with our witch hazel. You can get your witch hazel from Amazon, you can get it from Target, you can get it from Walmart, any kind of witch hazel you want. I use the organic witch hazel just because that's what I had, okay? You don't have to use organic, it's recommended, but you don't have to. Put your spray nozzle on, make sure you have it sealed tightly, shake, do a couple of tests just to make sure that it comes out and you're good to go with your DIY deodorant. So if you like what you see today, make sure you like the button, subscribe to the video, share it with your friends and comment if you have any questions. We'll see you later.